I think the first question I would ask you is, how do you assess it? I think it was a game of two halves, a lot of tactical um, adaptations throughout the game from both managers, but how do you assess it now at the draw, being the conclusion? Yes, I mean, uh, it was an intense week. We had a long week to prepare for this game. And it is good that in the end we take something for the work we have done this week, because uh, it is always uh, yeah, a risk to change the shape after a very good first half to maybe surprise the opponent and uh, be in the end then more more stable and uh, after the first 10 minutes where we really, really struggled to to find this shape because it's not about being passive or deep but we should still be on the jump but but in a different way it works quite well but at that moment we conceded the goal and then uh, in the end I think so after the 70th minute I think we had bigger chances and uh, we should normally win the game and uh, yes, this is how it should be. We have more quality from the bench also. We have a chance to to replace players and, and finally, yeah, to, to, to bring such a game uh, over the line. Um, just a couple more questions for me, Ralph. I know there's a lot of experience that's left the change room. Um, this window, you well documented in terms of Ryan Bertrand, um, Jan Vestergaard, Danny Ings. But I know that you've been impressed by the way that your team has started in terms of the maturity, the starts of this season. With the last couple of days left in the window, are we going to expect any sort of incomings, especially with defensive reinforcements, with Jam being such an important position? Yeah, yeah, you can expect that, and uh, it will definitely happen. Um, can I ask you about a particular link in particular? Uh, Torino defender Lachino has been a player that's been linked with the club. I just want to know in terms of your interest levels. No, no, I don't want to discuss any rumours about persons uh, or players, uh, but that we do something, this is clear. Okay. Uh, just my final one to you, Ralph, as well. I was really impressed with Tino today. Um, I'm actually have a lot of friends from South London, so I've seen Tino's development. I was really happy with the fact that he was able to join Southampton this year, but I think watching him today, he's really announced himself as an established Premier League player. But you tell me, in terms of working with him day in, day out, are you seeing that growth and are you seeing how quickly he's progressing as well? At first, uh, I must say that I'm happy for him and for us that he took the decision to, to come to us. It's for us as a club always difficult to, to get a, a, one of the best uh, talents in, in England. And I think he sh he, we know that he had a lot of potential. He made now two games. Uh, don't hang it too high. Uh, keep it calm. I know how quick uh, people are starting to, to, to lift him, but it's not ne no need to learn. He has still a lot of things to learn. Um, but he has everything. He has a body, he has a speed, he has a quality on the ball. And also, it's, and there's a most important thing for me always as a young player, he has also the mind set the right. And um, this is a good combination, a good uh, baggage, and it's on us to work with him. Okay, we've got a dance show. Thank you, Jordan. Ralph, what was the difference between the second half at Goodison Park and the second half at St. Mary's, where last week your team obviously conceded three, but this time you managed to ride it out and, as you say, finish stronger? No, you, you, you must know it because you are always the guy who is critical looking on our shape in the second half. So um, now you see that we have changed the shape in the half time and we we went to a back five and uh, we had we took the time, the 15 minutes at the half time to organize, reorganize everything, uh, put run play, play, bring run play off and bring a center back in. But uh, like always, it's not so easy them to step immediately in the right way and uh, the first 10 minutes we didn't do it good. And I was shouting very loud outside to, to, to push them still out because we have been too passive. A back five doesn't mean that I stay around the box. I have still to be aggressive. And then the last 30 or 25 minutes in the second half, it was how I want to, to play a back five. Still with high ball wins and we had a few fantastic moments to, to kill the game for us. And I think, yes, it was the big development, I think, and we worked on this uh, during the week very tough. And it's good for the guys that they see that that uh, we can do this, we are flexible enough and uh, important uh, point for us. And in, in the week I asked you about losing the experience and whether the young players you know, will be able to handle it. I think in the second half we showed they, they can. Is that what you're talking about when you say it's moments like this that will help them grow going forward? Yes, it's the moments like this where you see that it's not important that you have experience on the, on the, on the pitch, it's, it's important that you have alternatives from the bench, they are coming in and uh, they are quite lively. Kyle, we have now the fullback positions, not much more options. Uh, even Jan Valerie is, is there for an opportunity. And uh, this is important in, in, in this shape. And, and it's a pity that we cannot make five changes because up front I have also quality to bring. And 
And so the two strikers had to play 90 minutes, but they did it and then I was happy for them. And just finally from me, after the game, Oli was surprised that there wasn't a foul given on Bruno Fernandes in the build-up to Southampton's goal. Just your thoughts on that and whether that, that's the new leniency we're seeing this year with referee. Yeah. I have seen also a few other things where we didn't get a foul uh, in certain moments. Uh, when you want to hang it up on this one situation, I don't see this. Um, to be honest, I was always a big fan of, of let things run. Um, and yes, uh, this is the Premier League. What can I say? Thank you, Ralph. Okay, Tony Banks. Hi, Ralph. Um, well played. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about Adam Armstrong. He had two good chances towards the end. He's getting in good positions, isn't he, to, to take those chances. Unfortunately, he didn't take them today, but you must be pleased with the way he started for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's a pity that he didn't score today, but he showed uh, not only this scene that he is a very lively striker and uh, nasty to defend because he's always there, very nasty. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the guys, I think, are also working quite good together, a good couple. But we have also on the bench some, some guys, they are coming uh, when they get the chance to do it. And and uh, this gives me more opportunities, I think, in this season. Okay, Tom Barclay. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, just, just back to the, uh, the foul that wasn't given or whether it was a foul ahead of the goal. Um, Oli was saying that he was looking at the difference between last season and this season and likening it to going from volleyball to rugby and, and being a bit wary of going too far the other way. How do you see this sort of change in the rule? And do you think it's a good thing that we're now letting things like this go? Yeah, it's tough for me to say. Uh, in, in this moment, we have been the team that uh, was uh, uh, getting the benefit for, for a, a aggressive uh, attack. And to be honest, it, it, because we play a, a very active pressing style, I'm always happy when uh, not every single, every simple touch is immediately fouled. And I think the people always love it. Eh? This is what the Premier League were famous for for a long time. Um, I remember when I was coming here, and, and I have a few players from Germany that were coming here. They were saying at first they have to be more stable for the Premier League because. It is more robust and, and yes, I mean, as long as you don't work players, what I don't see either, to be honest, um, then it is a good thing for me. Just finally, Ralph, looking very dapper today with that waistcoat. Is that something we can expect throughout the rest of the season? No. When, when it brings points, I do everything if you want that. I sit, I sit outside also with, a, with a, I don't know, with a bathing uh, 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 Short if you want. <laughs> when I know that you get points, not cool. Speedo. It's not speedo. It's a speedo. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that would be something to watch, right? Yeah. Just... <laughs> Maybe only in the summer, but uh, uh, when I know that helps, uh, I do it. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you. Okay, Simon Beach. Hi, Ralph. Uh, well played today. Um, it's, a, Thank you. it's a simple question, uh, but what, what did it mean to have the fans back at uh, full stadium today? And and what did it say about the mentality of your group that it didn't appear there was any hangover from the last match against Manchester United? The last match against Manchester United was never a topic uh, in, our, in our minds. Uh, that the fans are back and uh, that you have to wake them up in the end was um, good for us. I, I think we did it with the way we played in the second half, the last 20 minutes, because everybody thought after they realized that we will again uh, go to back foot and, and lose this game and it was good important for us that we have shown that we can be competitive until the end and to take something today was, was very important. The first point is important and now we, we can look forward, yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll go to Carl Anker. Good afternoon, Mr. Yeah, you. Uh, I've got a question here. When I was covering Southampton in 2019, you often talked about automatisms and the things necessary for your players to do in order to get a result. The automatism of Southampton in 2019 were different from those in 2020. What automatisms do you have planned in 2021 and 2022? Yeah, we have to be a little bit more flexible, I think, uh, in our shape. And uh, this is what we tried to, to work the last uh, few weeks. And, and uh, to be in such moments like today, a little bit harder to read, not so easy to play against. 
And yes, uh, we have now also this quote to do this. Uh, last year we didn't have it. Uh, we hadn't uh, alternatives on some position to change the back five. Now we have it, and then we have to use it. And this is this is a good thing. Okay. We will go and start doing some questions for the game against Newport County on Wednesday evening. We'll go back to Dan Sheldon. Thank you again, Jordan. Ralph, the we've seen a lot of regular players being left on the bench, Stuart Armstrong, Carl Walker Peters, Fraser Forster. Are they all going to be playing on, on Wednesday night against Newport? Stuart was in, a little bit injured as he had a little problems with his calf, so it was not an option for this game. Uh, but definitely they will be on, 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 on Wednesday, a lot of rotation and uh, get the players a chance to play who haven't played so far. And I suppose for you, is it the last time to see your squad before the sort of transfer window really shuts and you have a few days to work on deals? Yes, we. I think we had a, a good transfer window so far with bringing in a few very important players for us. And finally, we need to to uh, yeah strengthen a little bit the centre back position because we have only three in the moment where Yannick was going. So uh, we will do definitely something on this position. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you. Okay, Alfie House. Hi, Ralph. You're right. I just wanted to ask about obviously Shay Long, who was on the bench today. Um, what's his sort of general situation for his future, and will he feature on Wednesday? Also, an option, definitely, yes. We have in the front, we have a lot of opportunities, and you must have a look. Uh, yeah, but uh, we will we will change the team uh, also and, and give them a chance to play. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you. Okay, we'll go back to Tom Barkley. Hello. Um, just want to ask, last season you obviously had a great cup run, but it seemed to affect uh, the league form a little bit, just with the squad, squad being stretched. How wary are you of the cup run this year? As it's on? Oh, we are concentrating also on the cup, but in this season we have a little bit more alternatives on the bench, uh, not only academy players, the, the side is a bit bigger and gives me more alternatives and they really need to play the guys and, and uh, we will definitely give them a chance to do it. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Okay, Dan Rose. Dan, if you're there. Hi, Rob. Can you yeah, can you? Hi, yeah. Um, it's just a quick one on you talk about obviously giving the, the academy lads the opportunity and the young lads the opportunity to come through, especially in these cup games as well. You mentioned Jan Valerie there in the first part of the press conference. How impressed have you been with him throughout pre season? And will he get an opportunity to show what he can do? Yes, absolutely. I must say, he did a good, good job in the pre season and he's fit, he's a physically strong guy. And I definitely can think about letting play. And uh, yeah, he deserves to get, to get chances uh, and minutes. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, Simon Peach. Hi, um, Newport County have got a bit of a reputation as giant killers the last few seasons. What are you expecting from them? Tough game. To go there, uh, you need to, to be really lively and uh, good organised. And uh, yes, uh, it was definitely not a, not a Sunday afternoon uh, walk there. So it's, you have to go for, for, for everything if you want to take something out. What are you expecting from the pitch as well? I don't think they've played at home yet this season due to the pitch being relayed. Yeah, they have a new one, I think. This is what I've heard. But no game, concerns? In, uh, no, but anyway, I mean, you have to play on the same pitch they also play on, and, and then we have to, to, to adapt our game to what is needed. Thanks, Thank you.